Russell Burney, the son of a grocer in this ski country for Manna, felt called to minister around the border. In 1973, he submitted his name for the vacancy in Downshire Road in Uri. He was called, shortly after, added the conveyorship of the rural congregations of Newton, Hamilton, and Craigham to his charge. Newry <coughs> was afflicted with bombings and killings of neighbours of mine. Craigan is about a mile from Cross Glen, which was the cockpit of the rural campaign of the IRA. It was one incident after another. I had to travel up from Uri along roads day and night that were potentially booby trapped for the army. A rota of men was organized to guard this church in Uri day and night. Because there were instances of churches being attacked and people being attacked, coming out of churches. On the 1st of September 1975, Russell got a call about an incident in Tully Valley. The IRA had opened fire in an orange hall. Four men were killed instantly, and a fifth died later and was wounded. Eighty-year-old John Johnson, a member of Russell's Craigan congregation, was among the dead. That night, Russell visited the families. I wasn't trained pastorally for an incident like this. When I came down from Tully Valley that night, having visited those homes, I hadn't seen any bodies, I was just with the relatives. I sat on the edge of my bed and cried. I saw the children of some of the deceased and seriously injured. I called in the hospital and I had seen some of them being treated. It was hard at that time. It was an aspect of ministry that I wasn't prepared for. I was in over my head. So I had to adapt. Five months later, two of the guns used in Tully Valley were turned on ten Protestant workmen murdered in the King's Mills massacre. Just a few miles away. None of Russell's congregations were killed in King's Mills, but he took part in the funerals and provided pastoral support in the community. Russell also needed support, which he found in other local ministers and his <coughs> congregations. They were very dark days, and they demanded a lot of time. My congregation was very good in allowing me to give that time because they were sympathetic in every sense to it. Russell Burney looked out over those gathered in Clarksbridge Presbyterian. The small church was overflowing with mourners. It was a united service, organized after the murders in Tully Valley and Orange Hall. He read out a statement pledging that there would be no retaliation. It was an agreed statement which the Reverend John Hawthorne of the Reformed Presbyterian Church had helped him to write. I read out a statement pleading for peace and that there be no retaliation to this event. Russell invited those who agreed with the statement to stand. Not everybody stood immediately, so we waited, and he waited, and he waited until everyone in that church was on their feet. During a time marked for tit-for-tat killings, it was a remarkable occasion. I have been told subsequently that the statement prevented retaliation because there were people at that service who were determined that they were going to avenge. We were speaking for the victims, for those who were wounded, because they were fine people who would not have wanted revenge. <coughs> there was no tit for tat following Taliban and Orange Hall. 